National Drop a Rock Day on July 3rd is right around the corner, so let's get started making a really fun and easy design using some of my leftover planner stickers. I used to have kind of a um, a bit of a problem buying a lot of these, and I decorated my planner. I don't have a lot of time to do it now, but I have lots of stickers left over, so I'm going to use some of them. So I'm taking a rectangular sticker, and then I'm taking some of the skinny washi tape you've seen me use in the past on a couple of designs and I'm gonna make kind of a starburst design on several rocks so that it creates several kind of pie sections that we can fill in with color. For this first design I'm going to use my Craftsmart multi-surface premium satin paints and kind of do sort of a neon pastelish type rainbow arrangement and it's going to take a couple of coats for this just because these rocks are a little bit porous and they kind of soak it up and the lighter colors can tend to be um, a little tricky with coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and go around with the multi-surface rainbow colors and then come back around and give it a second coat. International Drop of Rock Day has been going on I think since 2018 so I believe I've been doing it every year it's been going on because I started painting rocks in 2017 and it's it was started by this group where they would vote on a phrase for the year a phrase or a word and then rock artists all over the world drop rocks with that same phrase or theme on July 3rd so it's kind of like a, a massive act of kindness solidarity all on the same day so it's kind of a neat way for people to connect all over the world even if you don't know people or it can also be a way to connect locally with your local rock groups if you got together and painted a bunch of rocks or you know it's just a really cool thing I think to have themed rocks and they're always a very positive uh, message so something like um, last year was peace there's been you matter um, so it's always a very positive and uplifting message which is exactly what the kindness rocks project is about on my second design, I am alternating these two metallic paints. It's kind of a metallic fuchsia and a metallic um, teal color. Um, two favorite colors. I like them. I like the metallic. The little rectangle in the middle on this one is a, quite a bit smaller than the other one, but that's okay. I'm kind of going for some different shapes and sizes on all of these rocks. And on this one, I took four little dental reminder stickers that are circular and created sort of a flower in the middle and then did the crisscross with the washi tape. And I'm filling in all of the color spots with the paint pens from my Tuli Art Earth and Skin Tone set. So a different kind of color vibe going on here and a different shape in the middle. I'm gonna take this pink and teal glitterific fine glitter paint and add it to the metallic magenta and teal with a silicone tool because this can be kind of sticky glitter paint. It acts a lot like glue, but I just wanna add some sparkle to this one before the tape comes off. And on that original rainbow rock, I'm gonna take a disposable eyeliner brush and some silver glitter and just create some lines fanning out from the middle of the design with the silver glitter paint. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with gold glitter paint on the flower center with the earth and skin tones colors. Now it's time to slowly peel off that skinny washi tape and you wanna do it slowly, especially with any kind of multi-surface paint because it can try and peel off the paint you want to stay on. So sometimes you'll see me put my thumb over what I'm trying not to peel off, but this just is gonna create a starburst look where the natural stone is showing through in the background and then a spot in the middle to write Kindness Matters for International Drop a Rock Day. These little round stickers in the middle were a little bit trickier to get off because they were on there really good and then I had a little bit of paint seepage 
go under the stickers, so I took a nail buffer and just kind of buffed it off the rock. Now I'm going to take my Posca PC1MR paint pen and write Kindness Matters, and then I'm going to come back and thicken up all of my downstrokes on the script to create that nice faux calligraphy look. And then on some of the designs that have a smaller spot in the middle to write, I'm using my Unipin Fine Liner pens because it makes it easier to fit in a small space. And on the flower design, I decided to write the kindness matters and then put little dotted lines around the outline of the flower to give it just a tiny bit more definition since it was a different shape than the others. And this is a rock that wasn't featured in the video till now. I made it with my Thule Art blues and purples and some chunky glitter paint, and it is very pretty also. And as usual, the resin just brings the sparkle out of the glitter paint even more and also the natural designs in the stones. So I've got a nice head start on my Kindness Matters rocks for International Drop a Rock Day and I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Subscribe to my mommy's channel. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.